I'm Big C Bot. Uh, I forgot to show you guys what the grenade was. It's an axe spray can. An axe spray can. This was our thing. I'm actually put this at the beginning of the video, but this was gonna be for the end. But yeah, yeah. So I threw it real quick, made it look like a grenade, like that. Oh snap! And what I did for the effect of throwing it, I went like this real quick, stopped the camera. And I dropped it on the floor and just did this. And for the boom effect, I went boom as I looked out the window and, and the bullet. <coughs> and I just did this, went lower in the camera, clicked it, uh, switched, became the other guy. Then that's everything. Peace out. Bam. No. In the video, I keep messing up. Next video is behind the scenes of the Call of Duty spoof thing. <laughs> yeah. So if you really want to see that at all, I'm going to see that in my video. Uh, so this is like a Halloween decoration, and there is my light bulb, and this is what it is. So it's not plopped on, right, so it goes like this. This is what you guys are on every video, see? So when I put you on there, the weight makes it go, bleh, bleh, bleh. So that's why you guys always like, turn, 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 turn. When I jump, it also makes it turn spot, which was a problem in Call of Duty, so I had to use my other one that doesn't have a light bulb. Use it and put it behind it to make it work. That's a little behind the scenes. Uh, obviously, I'm giving you the tree. I'm just gonna kind of put you guys off and on this guy. So, I'm gonna just take this part and get it on there. Oh, I've never actually killed myself. It's kind of a little work. So that's why I call for work my YouTube. See, it's turning. It depends on where I put it. If it just doesn't turn at all. See how your guys are facing downward. That's what the position you're at on it. Which, yeah, that's the direction. So right here is where we're going. No, stop it, you. So I have to take the pull again and probably put it behind the, the front here. So I don't want to be that way. Okay, there. That's perfect. Uh. Now that's perfect. Come on. Skeleton, just stay. Okay, thank you. So, right here is what I'm going to show you guys. Uh, if you saw at the end when he does in the j jump of the wall and does that uh, gung glitch, I'll show you how I made that effect real quick here. Uh, you see this? Uh, all I did was like right, right here. I was actually right, right below the camera holding the gun. And I hit play, and I went over to stop it. And I said, oh yeah, gun glitch, it's so cool. And that's all I did. Literally, that's all I did. Uh, for the gun swap effect, uh, we got pillows and stuff down here. So I basically did this. I just set it there. And I laid down the gun, picked it up real quick, and went like this to make it look like I switched it. And the first time, I stopped the camera and started again. And that's it right there. Uh... The characters stop the camera, switch costumes, and that's it for that. Uh, the wall jump, stop camera, play it again. Uh, basically, most of my effects are stopping camera, restarting it. Uh, the effect of how I look so good right now is because of my light bulb. Uh, that's for PC Firebat. That is my mobile. Problem. You guys all know that. So that's basically it to the behind the scenes of this. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned some tricks that may help you if you're a YouTuber. Peace out, Betty. Comment down below of what you may have done to for behind the scenes. And what was your favorite part about filming? Peace out. Keep being bad awesome. You guys are awesome. Bye. I'm Batman.